Hey guys, I am here today with my Ulta haul. Um, I got, I think, nine items from Ulta, and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got because I'm so excited, as well as some of them for you. So, the first two things that I got are two of the Morphe sponges. I have never tried these, and I am so excited to try them. So I bought the Flawless Beauty Sponge as well as the Highlight and Contour Sponge. Um, and both of these, Jaclyn Hill uses them all the time. So of course that's why I wanted them. So I want to try those. Um, then I got a new Morphe highlighting brush because I always use a fan brush, but I really want to try one that packs product on a little better. So this is the Morphe M510 brush. So I'm very excited to try this. I feel like everybody and their mother uses this brush and I'm really late to jump on the bandwagon. So, gonna try that. All right, now, I got the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit, um, and I am so, so excited for this. You get, let me open it up. All right, so the packaging looks like this, which I think is really, really pretty. I really like this packaging. Um, and you get a contour shade, a shimmer highlight, a matte bronze, a powder highlight, like a matte powder highlight, a shimmer bronze highlight, and a matte blush. Oops. Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. Let me show you this way. Move the mirror. All right, so there is what the palette looks like. Um, it looks really, really pretty. I'm going to do some swatches and show you. Ooh, nice. So that is the contour shade. That looks really nice. It's very cool toned. And this one right next to it is the shimmer highlight up top. I hope that you can see that. Um, very pretty. It's kind of champagne-y, I would say. It's got like a slight golden undertone to it. Um, that's very pretty. Then we have a matte bronzer. Um, if you're more cool tone, that's going to be way too warm for you. Um, but as long as you have a warmer undertone, that will be a gorgeous bronzer. Then it has a matte highlight for under the eyes. You can't even see it on my skin tone. <laughs> I'm so fair that you can't even see it on me. Um, and then there is like a bronzy highlight, which is this one right here. And that's really pretty. Um, that one, I will not really be able to use that unless I use it as like a blush topper um, because I am so fair that will never ever be a highlight for me, but it is very, very pretty. And then there is a matte blush as well, which I really like that color. It's like a nice warm peachy kind of blush, but it's not, it's a darker peach I would say. So that's really, really pretty. I really like that. So, very, very excited to try this. Also, it has a nice mirror to it, too. So, very excited about that. Next, I got the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight palette. Um, and I'm really excited for this because I have yet to try any of the ColourPop eyeshadows, so I thought this would be the perfect way to try them, is to get a palette. Um, and the palette looks like this. Um, let's see, it's got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six mattes, and there's five shimmers, and the one that looks like it's kind of a satin, it honestly looks like MAC texture in the pan. Um, so I don't know about on the face, but on the pan, or in the pan, <laughs> that's what I meant. In the pan, it looks like MAC texture. Okay. So we're gonna get some swatches for you. The first one is Matter of Fact. And this is a matte cream shade. Oh, it's a darker than a cream. Okay. There is what that one looks like. It's much darker than I thought it would be. Um, I would say that's more so like go in the crease kind of color rather than under the brow bone unless you are darker in skin tone. If you're darker in skin tone, that'll be a great highlight for you. Um, the next one is called Up Front. Oh, that's pretty. You can see it right there. That is very, very pretty. Really excited for that one. The next one is Straight Up. Ooh, that's a nice, like, bronzy color. So that's what that one looks like right there. And then the next one is BS, which I think looks like texture in the pan. 
and then there's the swatch it is darker than texture and a little bit more of a reddish undertone but it does have that like ever so slight shimmer to it like texture does but not enough that you really see shimmer on the eye you would still use it kind of like a matte shadow but it does have that same effect that's really pretty next is Frank and Frank looks like that right there that's very pretty these swatch really really well too so I'm very excited to use these on the eye now this is a nice kind of coppery shade right there I really like that very pretty. All right, next one is Fourth Right. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got some pink to it. And that's that one right there. Very pretty. All right, and then we have Down Right, which is like a transition shade. And it looks like that right there. That one's Down Right. Um, it really doesn't look a whole lot different than that first shade, honestly. Um, next one is Truth Hurts. That's that one right there. Very pretty. That's a nice kind of camely brown color. Very pretty. All right. Be Blunt is the next one, which is a shimmering kind of purple. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, that's that one right there. That is a gorgeous color. So excited for that. Next one is TMI, which is a matte purple in the palette. And that's that one right there. It's this one right here. That's a pretty color too. I'll admit it didn't swatch quite as well as I hoped it would, but maybe I didn't pick it up off on my finger. Um, and then the last one is Actually. And this one swatches really nice. You can see it right there. That's Actually. So that's like the darkest shade in the palette. It's a real dark matte brown with a slight purplish undertone to it. Um, very, very pretty. So I'm so excited to try this palette. Um, yes, I am so excited to see how they perform on the eyes. So let me wipe off my hand and we will get on to the next thing. All right, next I got two of these new Tarte Chrome Pot, or Chrome Paint Shadow Pots, sorry. I can't talk today. So these are the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. Um, I'm really excited to try these. I got Top Yacht and sun drenched um they're both golds um the other colors there were some other ones that i liked but the golds really stood out to me because i love gold oh there's some tape on it whoops let's remove that okay oh i made a mess okay so this one is sun drenched they look how they come packaged if you can see after i took the top off it really reminds me of um I can't think of what they're called, but they're those L'Oreal shadows, and they came. They come with this same little stopper right here that you remove before you get to that real, like, chrome-type shadow. So this one is sun-drenched. They feel very similar, too. Ooh! That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited to try that. Oh, I like it much better on my hand than I do in the pot. Oh, that is so pretty. So excited to try that. All right, the next one is Top Yacht. And with how it swatched on my hand, I'll have to see how it does on a brush, but I might not even need to use Fix Plus with it, which would be great. So the next one is Top Yacht, and this one looks like this. And let's swatch it for you. This one feels just a little chunkier than the other one. Ooh, but that's really pretty. This one's more, I'd say, a champagne gold, if you can see it. That's really, really pretty. I think these would be really pretty layered. Layer the two would be so pretty. Gorgeous colors. What do I have left? Okay, what I have left is I bought two different highlighter palettes. Okay, there we go. All right, so the first one I got is the Ofra Feeling Myself Highlighter Palette. And this has been out for a while. Um, I just, I've wanted to try it, but I don't know, I never have. So here is what the packaging looks like. Um, and you get three shades. I'm going to take this off. 
Okay, so you get Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive. Whoop. Closed on me. Okay, so it looks like this. This one is Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive, and they look stunning. Absolutely stunning. Does it say the names on the back? Yes, it does. Okay, so let me swatch these for you. This one is Blissful. Ooh. Once I am self-tanned, that will be gorgeous. So pretty. It's kind of a tan shimmer, I would say. And then this one is Pillow Talk. Ooh, so pretty. That's really nice for when I'm real fair. I still have like an ever so slight tan from my tanner, but like hardly anything. So that's really, really nice for when I am at my fairest. So in like the fall and winter time, that will be gorgeous. The next is Rodeo Drive. And this I think is one of their most popular ones because I hear people talk about this one all the time. And that's that one down there at the bottom, if you can see it. My lighting's going out. There we go. That is so pretty. I am so excited for that. That one might be my favorite. It's more of a gold kind of champagne, really gold though, which in the summertime, I am all about. Um, when I'm self tanning and it's summertime, that real golden kind of highlight, I just love. It makes me think of summer. So I'm all about that. Then last but not least, I got the Bretman Rock um, with Morphe Babe in Paradise Highlighter Palette. Um, I waited a little while to get this one because I wanted to kind of see what the reviews were um, because I have never tried any of Morphe's highlighters before. Um, so it fell out of the packaging, but you get this nice little fan brush in here. I wanna take it out and feel it. Oh, it feels really nice. It feels really nice. Whoops. So, I will probably give this a try, but I really want to try the new highlighter brush that I got. And then here is what the actual packaging of the palette looks like. And let's open it up. Here is what it looks like. Ooh, it looks so pretty. All right, so the first one is Bebe Girl. Mm. Oh, it's more pink than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. So there is what that one looks like, if you can see it. I don't know if you can or not. Um, that one is not my favorite. Um, it feels a little dry to me, rather than real smooth and buttery. It does have some nice shine to it, but it's definitely more pink than I would wear. So I probably won't use that one. Right, the next one is Vega, Vegetation? Vegetation? I think that's how you say it. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, yes. Love that. There's that one right there. That is stunning. And again, this will be a shade that I have to wear in the summertime. Otherwise, I'll have to mix it with a real light one. Because otherwise, it'll be too dark for me. Then the next one is Mahu. I think that's how you say that. Ooh, very pretty. This is very similar to the Vegetation, but it's more gold and a little deeper, if you can see that. That's so pretty. All right, the next one is Get Laid. Ooh, I really like that one. All right, so this one is Get Laid. It's again still kind of a gold, but it has a kind of like peachy undertone to it that's so pretty so pretty all right next one is chi hu this one looks like it'll be really nice for people with deeper skin tones oh it's actually more it's more versatile than i thought it would be um somebody that's a little bit more light skinned would want to mix it with a lighter color to make it work a little better but that's really pretty it's not too overboard in pink whereas the swatch looks very very pink and then the last one is shady bitch Ooh, okay I will never use this one because I'm way too fair for it even when I'm self tanned but on darker skin tones that would be stunning it's a beautiful bronze with even a slight copper tone to it Ooh, that is so pretty so, so pretty. So, so excited to try all of these new products. 
um, stay tuned for me trying all of these. I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!